Christmas Corner with Maria, who is making spirits bright with her <laughs> DIY bottle stoppers. But before we jump into the project, I'd just like to mention how incredibly impressed we are by all of your festive Christmas rooms that you, our viewers, have been decorating, of course, as part of our Hallmark Channel's Holiday Home Sweepstakes. So good, so good that we actually have to take a look at a few because they're amazing. Here we go, let's look at Ooh, Connie's. Look the at that. angel. The use of every, look at the angel and the wreath and the, and the oh, garland and all the ornaments beautiful. and light. That's a really spectacular one. And Diane, also uh, nice and monochromatic with a little uh, pop of color the with those Christmas. Yeah, oh, yeah I exactly. like that. Now remember, uh, from now until October 15th, you can enter for a chance to win one of five weekly prizes, which include $500 in cash and wow. a gift from Balsam Hill, like this beautiful candle right here. All you gotta do is visit hallmarkchannel.com slash Christmas to enter, and most importantly, have fun decorating everyone, and good luck, and uh, getting in the holiday spirit. Yes, with it's like you a dream come true. Right now, I know, is it Christmas there? We got Christmas here, these bottle stoppers, I love them, they're adorable. Well, and just like you saw there, adding details into everything during the yeah. holidays is so important. What makes the holidays really special, and that's where the idea came for these, because when we're entertaining, you wanna have either wine or those sparkling water, because you and I have this sparkling water addiction yes, that we, we do. like to talk about. Yes, we and, do. And uh, so when you, when you are entertaining, you can add a bit of your Christmas touch on your bottles, and it just makes everything a little bit more I special. Love, you've got a few different ones here, but we're gonna start with the snowman, little we snowman. We are, the little snowman. So you what can do we need? see, well, I have everything over here. I have uh, these little wood squares. I'll show you, we use those guys for the hat. Uh, the wood beads, I have been super into these. They're trending right now. I made a whole chandelier out of them before. Okay. They're so pretty and simple, but they are just, they make a really great statement and I love the look of them and these rubble, rubber, rubble, these rubber bottle stoppers. You need those time. obviously if you're yes. a bottle stopper. So sure. that is really the base of the all of them because uh, you just go and get those online but they're the ones that you want to actually put into the bottle. Great. And that's what you all And need. I also love the fact and we're going to get into how you build the snowman right yes. now but I love the fact that you didn't paint them white because you were talking about how great those beads look that exactly. the natural wood look. And of course you could. Yep. I, I consider doing that, but I just love the simplistic, uh, simplisticness, I guess, of it. I like so it too. Really let's let's uh, dive in. How do we get started on okay. the snowman first? Uh, of course, we have our, our glue gun. So you kind of want to uh, do your sizes based on the top of the rubber stopper. So okay. when I was doing this, I found that the beads that you get these at the craft supply store, you can get them online as well. You want the ones that are flat at the bottom. So either one of these sizes ended up working for me. You can see that this fits on here, but the flat okay. bottom is really where you want to go with this, even for the the ones that go on top. So for instance, I can show you the couple different sizes and a good way to kind of tell where the middle is because all of these, uh, all of, oh, this one has a hole in it, sorry. So for the uh, kind of finding your center is, you'll see if we can take a look right here, there is a little dot on the top and that will actually help you find your center for it and that way you don't have to question if you're That way Frosty center. isn't like kind of like hanging exactly. off the side or something like exactly. that. Which is fine too. I mean if that's the way you want to roll. Exactly. That's so probably how that. mine would look. There oh, you go. Oh Frosty. There you go. Okay here let's do this guy here. So, this so is there's the body. Do. And it's just a lot of glue. You just want to glue it on. Okay. And pop this guy right on here like that. I love how simple these are. I it's mean, very simple. Yes. It's a great little detail, like you pointed Can you out. You hold him. Can you I don't hold mind holding right him at all. Yeah, there he is. Okay. For the little scarf, I like doing the detailing on here. I'm going to add a little bit more of glue into my glue gun. So when you do your detailing on here, I like to build yeah. everything first before I make my face. Okay. So we have this here. This is just a piece of felt. That's you can just do that. And so see? what I, what I did for the hat, these are wood pieces too. Okay. So the wood pieces, uh, you just get, like I said, in the craft supply store, and you just put them on like that. I like the idea of his hat being a little off to the side. How cute so, that is. Isn't he adorable? So for the face on this, I kind of toyed with the thought of doing a paint pen or puffy paint, and sure. you can do that. But I'll this works as you. well, and I'm gonna glue this the front here too. So with this, when if you are using the, uh, there you go, you can see the face right there. If you're using the permanent marker, it will spread slightly, so you only want to do little dots. So we got our little face there, and that's it. And you could get really creative and do whatever you There's want for the face. There's a little pieces of coal, and, that's and it. then you got the little carrot nose. The little nose. 
and add as you will. Is, that is adorable. I love that. So there's our snowman, which is fantastic. But I know snowman. that you've got some other guys uh, here too. You've got the pine cone and these beautiful trees. Yes, these, these trees. Yeah, Tell the, me about the, those. the trees are that you can set. Yeah, go ahead. It's so dry. That's how quick it is. So those are bottle brush trees. Okay. Same process. You can get the bottle brush trees and just add some little ornaments on there just with um, some hot glue. And the other uh, pine cone over there, I feel like this is the time to go out and really get the pine cones. And Shirley, or Shirley's talked about how to preserve pine cones, so you can go to our website, hallmark.com, to learn how to do that. Yeah. And I just painted it white and added some glitter and a little star at the top so it looks like a little snowy Christmas tree, and that's it. And and I brought up the idea of maybe making uh, other ideas like using an ornament for your Christmas tree, but you said you gotta be oh, a little yeah. careful with that. So thank you for that. With like the, the tree you see there, that's a good example. I would be careful doing an ornament because the ornaments can be fragile. And right here, see how there's the black part that's, that's sticking right. up? Right that's how there. you wanna take them in and out because if you are using something a little bit more fragile, these are a little bit more yeah, sturdy. Yeah, you're pulling them out the of the bottle, right? And things like that, exactly. So if you, I, I probably would, Save your ornaments for your tree. There you go. Yeah. See, that's, that's how I would mess it up. All right, for full instructions for this project, of course, check out hallmarkchannel.com.